let's begin by creating a quick animation for our default cube. We'll make it last exactly one second, which in our case takes 25 frames. We can add a bounce effect to the animation curve to make it a bit more interesting. Let's make sure the frame rate is set to 25 in the render settings, and after that we can do the slow motion part with this time remapping area here. Let's say we want to make this animation look like it was shot at 100 frames per second. We can begin by putting the old frame rate into the old mapping value box, so that would be 25. Then we'll put the new frame rate for the second parameter. In this case we can just leave it at 100, because that happens to be the frame rate that we want. If we start to play this back, we can see that the animation gets cut off in the middle. That's because this same animation will now need 4 times the frames. You can calculate the right amount by dividing the new value with the old value, so in this case 100 divided by 25 makes 4. Let's take that value and multiply the end frame with it, in order to make the frame range long enough to contain the slow motion version of our animation. You can see how the frames are playing from 1 to 100, but the actual playhead is still just going up to 25. This is exactly what we want. If we render this out, we will get 100 frames which contain our original 25 frame animation in slow motion, 4 times slower than the original. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.